Welcome class. I hope you are okay taking care of you and your family at home. And remember, wash your hands and wear a mask to cover your mouth and nose. The topic today is first conditional. Let's start. Let's see these pictures. What do you think when you see this? Probably you think about superstitions. And that's right. In today's class, we are going to talk about superstitions. Are you a superstitious person? Now, let's read the following conversation between Mary and Bessie. Let's pay attention. Listen first and do not repeat. Why did you bring an umbrella? You know, if the sky is red in the morning, the weather will be bad later. Are you a superstitious person? Yes, I am. I really believe on it. Then you know, if you open the umbrella indoor, you will have bad luck. Oh, I forgot it. Now, let's read the conversation. Listen first and repeat after me. Why did you bring an umbrella? You know, if the sky is red in the morning, the weather will be bad later. Are you a superstitious person? Yes, I am. I really believe on it. Then you know, if you open the umbrella indoor, you will have bad luck. Oh, I forgot it. Now, listen again and repeat after me. Why did you bring an umbrella? You know, if the sky is red in the morning, the weather will be bad later. Are you a superstitious person? Yes, I am. I really believe on it. Then you know, if you open the umbrella indoor, you will have bad luck. Oh, I forgot it. Now that we already read the conversation, we can find what will happen. So, tell me, what will happen if the sky is red in the morning? Excellent. The weather will be bad later. Now, tell me what will happen if you open an umbrella indoor. Very good. You will have bad luck.
Now, let's read a passage about superstitions. Let's pay attention, listen carefully, and do not repeat. Different countries have different superstitions. For example, in Britain and Japan, if a black cat crosses in front of you, you will have good luck. But in the USA and many other countries, it's the opposite. If a black cat crosses your path, it will be bad luck. However, many superstitions are almost the same the world over. For example, if you break a mirror, you will be unlucky for seven years. If you find a clover, you will have good luck. Another is, if you walk under a ladder, something will fall on you. There are also superstitions about Halloween. If you ring a bell in Halloween, all the scary and evil spirits will fly away. If the flame of a candle goes out in Halloween, a ghost will visit you. Now, match the beginnings with the end of the superstitions that were in the passage. If you break a mirror, you will have seven years of bad luck. If you walk under a ladder, Something will fall on you. If you find a clover, you will have good luck. If a black cat crosses your path, You will have bad luck. If the flame of a candle goes out in Halloween, a ghost will visit you. Excellent. Now, let's practice. Complete the sentences with the missing words. You will have bad luck if a black cat crosses your path. Excellent! If the palm of your left hand itches, you will get some money. If you find a clover, you will have good luck.
If you see a horseshoe which was lost, you will have good luck. Well, remember, we use first conditional to talk about something that might happen in the future or present if a certain condition exists. First conditional is composed of two sentences, the condition and the result. The condition is composed of if plus simple present and the result will plus a verb. An example of first conditional if if you find a clover, you will have good luck. Now the class is over, but remember, learning another language is not only learning different words for the same things, but learning another way to think about things. Flora Lewis Goodbye.